Hey guys, I'm here with Amelia and she's from South Florida and she has one of the biggest health conferences in South Florida, the Mind Body Spirit Expo. Mind Body Expo. The Mind Body Expo. And so I wanted to bring her on to speak about that and really, you know, expose, I do so much men's work and I like to also feature women that are doing amazing things out in the world. And so tell us a little bit about yourself and the expo that you're doing. Thank you, Troy. Um, well, I run the largest health and wellness expo in South Florida. We focus on everything that is mind, body, spirit related. Um, we like to cover everything under the umbrella of movement, moving your body, nurturing your body, the products that you put on your body and in your body, as well as living sustainably um, and connecting with like-minded people. We like to bring a transformative experience to our events and uh, an immersive experience so that when people get out of our events, they're saying, oh my God, we learned so much, or wow, we connected with such amazing people. So that's what we really strive for. And uh, me being the president of the expo, I'm really passionate about educating people about these um, alternative and complementary products and services and tools and resources that they can use to enhance their health, shift their consumer culture so that they can better their own health, the health of their community and the health of the environment. Wow, the good old voting with your dollars. Voting with your dollar, that's what it's about. <laughs> and how's the climate? I, uh, I I lived in South Florida uh, for a while. I was, I was in Miami on South Beach. And so how's the climate for health and, and wellness and health consciousness and planetary wellness consciousness down in South Florida these days? Well, it's definitely not as popular as here in LA, um, but- this, this is ground zero. <laughs> exactly. I'm pretty, I'm pretty aware of that. Yeah, but it is sprouting, it is growing. People are starting to to take into account um, their, their consumer habits. So uh, in Delray Beach, where we host, the, the main expo, it um, there is a very big community and it's growing even more. Uh, but closer to Miami, you know, it's 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 starting to catch on. You know, it's gonna it looks like it's going to be another hub for health and wellness. Great. And so you're here in California, um, not only going to events. I met her at the Disclosure Fest, but uh, you're also creating a Mind Body Expo for San Diego as well. Yes. We will be hosting Mind Body Expo 2020 in San Diego around uh, October, late September. The date is still not finalized, but it will be um, in San Diego, California in Balboa Park. Great. So where can people find out more information about you? Well, if you visit my website, um, you could go to mindbodyexpo.org. You can learn more information about the expo there, or you can follow me on social media and see the journey that I have been going through, um, putting content about uh, bettering your health and wellness and the modalities and the methods that I'm learning through my expo. There's so many amazing um, hidden treasures that people don't really know about. So I am promoting all of that on social media so you could see the beautiful and um, hidden treasures that the world has to offer. So you can follow me at Emilia underscore Lujan. Um, my name is E-M-I-L-I-A underscore Lujan. And uh, so what are some of the modalities that, that have really shifted your consciousness or transformed uh, you? Well, number one, um, there's this method called Psyche, and it mm. is... Um, you Bruce use... Lipton and, and uh, what's the other guy's name? Yeah, they started that like mm -hmm. 20 years ago. Yeah, yeah Psyche is a really powerful tool. You use muscle testing to determine the belief and the emotion that is getting in the way of your success per se so you use muscle testing and then once you identify what it is you use a balancing technique to rewire your brain and rewire your thought patterns so through that i have been able to transcend so much doubt so much fear so much anxiety so mm -hmm. that i'm centered and grounded in my truth so that i can allow for um me to attract the things that I need into my life rather than going behind and putting so much force into it. So it's really helped me put myself in a position of power rather than force. Yeah, I always try and teach that to women, that the women's power is in their yin and mm -hmm. not in their yang. Yet we, the environment that we live in, that many women 
go into their masculine to try and compete in the world, but actually feminine is so powerful. Yes, it is. The feminine energy is so, so powerful. It's very beautiful. It's very nurturing. It's something that everyone wants to be around. So if you know how to harness your yin, you could really just attract exactly the abundance that you need in your life to get where you need to go. Yeah, it's all about that attraction. And so <laughs> any other techniques that come to mind that were good for healing? The Psych K is amazing. I haven't heard that in a, in a while. Do you, do you remember the guy that the, the other guy that started it? And it was no. Bruce Lipton teamed up with that other chiropractor guy, and so it eludes me. But I'll put it in the description box. Uh, any other uh, good healing modalities that come to to, to mind? So we're, we're going to do some breath work here in a minute. Yeah, I mean, there's just so many. I love dancing just as a form of healing and self-expression mm. it's beautiful because you can embody the goddess that you are you know and as a woman it's so powerful because you step into that power you self-express you let go you move how you want um you connect with people um and it's a safe space for you to just express yourself and move the way that your body feels and led to and after that you feel like a brand new person because you were in the moment for a full hour hour and a half two hours how however long the dance is you're in the moment for such a long time that it just uh helps you transform so beautifully are you talking about ecstatic dance mm -hmm. or um was it gabriel it, roth she did what is that other dance there's Mexico. different types there's the five rhythms yeah i think that's gabriel roth she's dead mm -hmm. now but um yeah, there's five rhythms. There's this ecstatic dance. They're all very unique. I like ecstatic dance because it goes really fast. Mm -hmm. So I like to move and shake my hips and, you know, move around with the drum well, and you're, whatnot. You're, you're Latin. I'm Latin, so <laughs> <laughs> of course I like to. But um, but yeah, that's that's the one, uh, one thing that I've been really coming into a lot more. And sound. Sound is so... Um, I've been uh, coming across a lot of new artists that I really like um, that are uh, that have such beautiful sounds in um, that help you feel like you're actually balancing while you're listening to the music. Mm. Did you see Nako and the Bear the other day? At, uh, I did. Yeah, he's, wow, he's amazing. amazing. Yeah. yeah, I saw so many great artists there actually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Great, awesome guys. So click the links and follow her on Instagram and. Thanks for tuning in.